Hello, I'm Sharif. I'm going to talk you through the first exercise in Technical Writing 1, which is all about understanding and empathising with your audience. I often say to my students in this class that when I start on a new writing project, I start by asking everyone involved about the audiences we're going to be creating documentation for. This exercise also functions as a great warm-up overall for the class to help everyone get to know their lab partner a little bit before they get into the writing. The exercise is fairly straightforward and I don't tend to spend too much time introducing it. After the students have had a couple of minutes to add their choices to the table, I invite them to share their answers with their lab partners. If this is a virtual class, I like to give everyone a little more time at the stage in the first exercise, just to make sure they can work out any potential technical issues and are able to communicate effectively, have done introductions and so forth. I also like to explain to students that I find peer discussion to be a very effective way to learn in this class. It really helps to get everyone involved, contributing and thinking about writing in ways they perhaps haven't yet in their own work. I find that the feeling of imposter syndrome can be quite common in the technology industry. It's a good idea to take a minute or two and make sure that your students understand imposter syndrome as described in the speaker notes. Perhaps you might like to invite one of the students to try to explain the concept. I like to explain to students that thinking back to their own experience learning a new technology or concept can help them empathize with their audience and perhaps to overcome some of that imposter syndrome. Again, with the cursor knowledge, I like to invite students to volunteer a definition. In this first exercise of the class, there are plenty of opportunities to get students speaking up and engaged, which can really help set up the class for interactive discussion in later exercises. I'd like to thank everyone who volunteers a suggestion, even if an idea isn't quite what I'm looking for. To conclude, I explain that now that we've warmed up our audience empathy muscles, it's time to do some writing and move on to exercise two.